The next great Italian director of the 60s, Michelangelo Antonioni, saw life more abstractly and framed it like this on the edge. In his 1962 film, La Clisa, Alain Delon's a Roman stockbroker. He starts a relationship with a woman played by Monica Vitti. Almost at once, we see that Antonioni frames his people unconventionally, modernly, on the edge of the screen or half hidden. Antonioni had studied American abstract painting and his films looked like canvases of modern life in which people only partially appear. Antonioni seems to see an emptiness in the relationship between Vitti and Delon, the void of modern life. In the famous ending of La Clisse, Vitti walks out of the film. Never to reappear. Instead, we see the places, street corners, where she and Dillon once were. The void seems to take over. The world seems empty. As if everyone is indoors or dead. We see this woman and think it's Viti, our main character, returned. But it's not. It's just another anxious passerby. <laughs> 